Hello everyone, it's finally here. We get to see the power of the new killer and the perks of all the new characters coming to us and the Stranger Things DLC coming out later this month. Now I know you are all excited to hear about everything in this chapter, but first I want to give out a shout out to these amazing people who have commented on my video. To have a chance at your comment being featured at the start of one of my videos, comment below. And I also want to give a big shout out to my friends and viewers that helped make this video possible because without their help, I wouldn't have been able to create this video for everyone to enjoy. So thank you very much, Augie the Fighter, Payne, Rennock, who is a demo mommy in this video, Maddie Tingles, Rigatoni, and Sina. Thank you so much for your help. Now, let's see what the new Stranger Things chapter is bringing to us. The Demogorgon's power is of the Abyss. It has three parts to it. First, it gives the Demogorgon six portals that it can place throughout the trial. To place a portal, just press the active ability button and it will be placed in the ground in front of you, indicated by the orange outline. Now, after placing six portals, you can no longer place any more, unless they get destroyed by survivors so be mindful of your portals. When a portal is placed for the first time, it is invisible to survivors. Once placed, you can see the portal's aura in white. When you stand on one of your portals, you will see the portal you are facing will have a red aura and an arrow pointing right above it. This is how you select which portal you want to teleport to. Now to teleport, just hold down the active ability button. While traveling, you are undetectable which is represented by this symbol. Once you emerge from the portal, you will be undetectable for about 3 seconds. What undetectable means is that you emit no terror radius, you have no red stain, and survivor detection perks or items that reveal the killer or killer's location will not work. For example, spine chill and premonition will not go off on an undetectable killer, and you cannot see their aura with Object of Obsession. Those are just a few examples. Survivors will hear this sound whenever the Demogorgon takes a portal. After teleporting between portals for the first time, they will become activated, and their auras will turn yellow, and survivors can now see and dismantle them. When a survivor is standing on a portal, they will have the oblivious status effect applied to them, which is represented by this symbol and prevents them from being able to hear the killer's terror radius. And they are not considered to be in the killer's terror radius for power or perk effects. For example, overwhelming and unnerving presence won't work on oblivious survivors and Object of Obsession will work for an Oblivious Survivor since they are oblivious to the Terror Radius. Those are just a few examples again to give you an idea of how it works. Now the survivors will also be oblivious for as long as they're dismantling a portal. Dismantling a portal takes quite a bit of time, but it is sped up if multiple survivors help. Similar to Totems, progress on dismantling a portal is never saved. So if you get off, you have to start all over again. Now while dismantling a portal, its aura is shown in white to all other survivors. And once it is destroyed, the killer gets a notification. Be careful though. The killer can teleport to the portal while it is being dismantled. The second part of this power is that the killer can hold down their power button to channel the abyss. This causes all survivors within a close proximity to an activated portal to have their locations revealed by Killer Instinct, which is this red entity symbol. This can be done at any time by the killer. You do not have to be on a portal to channel the abyss. This is another reason survivors must be cautious when deciding to dismantle a portal because the killer can activate it at any time to know your location. And the final part of this ability, you press the attack button while charging or holding of the abyss with the power button 
and you will dash forward and deal damage to the first survivor you hit. Now let's take a look at the Demogorgon's add-ons. We have the Lepros Lycan. Reveals the aura of all injured survivors while traversing the upside down. Red Moss. Colliding with a drop pallet while using a shred will automatically destroy the drop pallet. Slightly increases of the Abyss activation charge speed. Lifeguard Whistle. Survivors under the effect of a portal suffers from the exhausted status effect. Once out of contact with the portal, the effect persists for 5 seconds. Unknown Egg. Considerably increases the power recovery speed of traversing the upside down. Upside down resin. Moderately increases the time taken by survivors to seal a portal. Vermilion Webcat. Moderately increases the duration of the undetectable status effect applied to the killer when emerging from a portal. Brass Case Lighter. Survivors under the effect of a portal suffers from the blindness status effect. Once out of contact with the portal, the effect persists for 45 seconds. Deer Long. Moderately increases killer movement speed while traversing the upside down. Eleven's Soda. Moderately increases the power recovery speed of traversing the upside down. Thorny Vines. Slightly increases the time taken by survivors to seal a portal. Slightly increases the radius in which survivors can be detected by of the abyss. Violet Wax Cap. Slightly increases the duration of the undetectable status effect applied to the killer when emerging from a portal. Barb's Glasses. Slightly increases the power recovery speed of traversing the upside down. Muse Guts. Increases the total number of available portals by one. Slightly increases of the abyss activation charge speed. Rotten Green Tripe. Slightly increases killer movement speed while traversing the upside down. Sticky Lining. Slightly increases the radius in which survivors can be detected by of the abyss. Vicious webbing. Slightly increases the time taken by survivors to seal a portal. Black heart. Slightly increases of the abyss activation charge speed. Rat liver. Slightly increases killer movement speed while charging of the abyss. Rat tail. Slightly decreases the time taken to open a portal. And Rotten Pumpkin increases the total number of available portals by one. And those are all the add-ons. Now let's take a look at its three unique perks, which are Surge, Mind Breaker, and Cruel Limits. Surge, putting a survivor into the dying state with a basic attack causes all generators within a 24 meter radius to instantly explode and regress. This applies an additional regression of 12%. Surge can only be triggered once every 60, 50, or 40 seconds. Mind Breaker. While repairing generators with less than 50% repair progression, survivors are afflicted by the exhausted status effect. Any existing exhausted status effect timers are paused while the survivor is repairing a generator. After ending the repair action, the survivor is afflicted by the exhausted status effect for 1, 2, or 3 seconds. Keep in mind that the exhausted status effect does not recover while you are running, so you cannot be running for those 1, 2, or 3 seconds after getting off the generator. Once you reach that 50% progression though on the generator, the perk will deactivate and the exhausted will fall off. And finally, Cruel Limits. Every time a generator is completed, all windows and vault locations within a 24 meter radius from the completed generator are blocked for all survivors for the next 20, 25, or 30 seconds. You see the aura of the vault locations blocked by Cruel Limits for the duration. And those are the Demogorgon's three unique perks. Now let's take a look at what Steve and Nancy are bringing to the table. First, let's take a look at Steve Harrington, the coolest kid in town. His three unique perks are Babysitter, Camaraderie, and Second Wind. Babysitter says, when you unhook a survivor, the unhooked survivor leaves no scratch marks or blood trail for the next 4, 6, or 8 seconds. 
You see the killer's aura, and the killer sees your aura for four seconds. Camaraderie. While you're on the hook in the struggle phase, camaraderie activates. If another survivor is within 16 meters from you while camaraderie is active, the hook timer is paused for 26, 30, or 34 seconds. And second wind. When you have healed other survivors for the equivalent of one health state, second wind activates. If you're already afflicted with the broken stas effect, second wind does not activate. While second wind is activated, the next time you are unhooked or you unhook yourself, you are affected by the broken stas effect. After a total duration of 34, 32, or 30 seconds, second wind automatically heals you from injured to healthy. Second wind deactivates once you've become healthy or if you are put into the dying state before second wind successfully triggers. Second wind can activate more than once, so you can use it up to two times per match. And those are Steve Harrington's three unique perks. Now, let's take a look at good old Nancy Drew. <laughs> I mean, uh, Nancy Wheeler. Her three unique perks are Better Together, Fixated, and Inner Strength. Better Together says, The aura of the generator you are currently repairing is revealed to all other survivors located within 32 meters. If the killer downs a survivor while you are repairing a generator, you see the aura of all other survivors for 8, 9, or 10 seconds. Fixated. You can see your own scratch marks at all times. While uninjured, you walk 10, 15, or 20% faster. And finally, Inner Strength. Each time you complete a totem cleanse action, and this can be a dole or hex totem, it does not matter, Inner Strength activates. If you are already afflicted by the broken status effect, Inner Strength does not activate. While Inner Strength is active, hiding inside a locker for 10, 9, or 8 seconds while injured automatically heals you from the injured to healthy state. Inner Strength deactivates as soon as it has successfully triggered. You can get Inner Strength to activate again though if you cleanse another totem. And that is the Stranger Things chapter coming to us later this month. If this video helped you out, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. If you have any questions about the Stranger Things chapter, leave a comment in the description below and I will help you out. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, good luck out there in the fog, and see you next time.